ओके सो नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सी फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्ट द फ्रिक्शन ओके दैट मीन्स द थिंग्स विच आर अफेक्टिंग फ्रिक्शन रिड्यूसिंग एंड इंक्रीजिंग नाउ वी विल रीड अबाउट द फैक्टर्स और सो अर्लियर वी स्टडीड अबाउट द अफेक्ट्स ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन ओके नाउ वी विल रीड अफेक्ट्स ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन मीन्स वॉट स्टूडेंट मीन्स द फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्ट्स द फ्रिक्शन ओके सो वॉट आर द थिंग्स विच अफेक्ट द फ्रिक्शन नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ओके सो आई विल राइट हियर इफेक्ट्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ओके प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ फर्स्ट इट वॉज अफेक्ट ओके फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्ट द फ्रिक्शन मीन्स वॉट आर द थिंग्स विच कैन ब्रिंग चेंज इन फ्रिक्शन ओके ना दीज दिस इज वॉट इफेक्ट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन मीन्स वॉट फ्रिक्शन इज ब्रिंगिंग सर्टन इफेक्ट ओके सर्टन चेंजेस वॉट आर दोज ओके सो नाउ वी आर स्टडिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन so very first effect okay the very first effect of friction which we all know okay what does the friction do it always opposes the motion isn't it opposes the motion so what is the first case the first effect is what friction will always oppose the motion it doesn't depends upon the direction wherever the substance of the body is moving in it will always tend to bring that substance in rest or will slow down the motion of that particular substance or object or body okay so the first effect of friction is what it always opposes the motion okay now second friction produces friction produces heat okay friction produces heat just rub your hands rub your hands you will what will happen you all know friction is created here isn't it you will see that heat is created your hands will become warm isn't it so what does it proves that friction uh, what does it do friction produces heat okay here also one more example i'll quote children when the stars or the meteors when they fall from the sky okay so what happens they come with a great force okay when the stars falls they come down on the surface of the earth with a great force now great force so when they come in contact with air so lot of friction is created between them and air so so much of friction is created children because of the speed that what happens they start burning they catch fire isn't it they catch fire so this is again when they catch fire again heat is produced so how can we write this this can be written this is simple to understand opposes the motion friction always opposes the motion and directional that means wherever the motion is and whichever direction the motion is in it will always oppose the motion now friction produces hence uh, friction produces heat <laughs> not hence okay so what is the case children when we rub our hands okay so what is happening heat is produced and second case when the stars falls down from the sky with great speed what will happen they just like lot of friction is produced between the air and the those stars and which give rise to like due to this what happen they catch fire okay so let's write this friction produces heat when we rub our hands or palms 
against each other they they become warm okay whenever the hands are rubbed against each other they become warm second example of this is what when stars fall down on the surface of the earth they come across lot of friction of what due to air okay and and bones okay so this one i don't think so it's needed right uh, i have to elaborate this it's not required second one when we rub our palms against each other they become warm okay when stars fall down on the surface of the earth they come across lot of friction due to air okay with the air that means and they burns so this is a second effect of the friction now what can be the third effect first one is opposes the motion second is friction produces heat okay so third is wear and tear okay wear and tear okay so what's the meaning of wear and tear means what see you know whenever two things comes in contact they are moving friction is created okay now take talk the <laughs> you know take the examples of the not talk the examples take okay take the examples of the machines okay uh, sometimes say fan it's Uh, you know it makes start making noise okay your bicycle it makes noise so you know why does it makes noise because the two sub two surfaces they are coming in contact whenever the two surface comes in contact friction will be there whenever the friction will be there it is going to spoil that surface okay so why are shoes get uh, torn okay why are shoes we have to change shoes why it get why does it get torn torn because we are walking on the uh, surface our sole that means shoe surface and that earth surface are coming in contact with each other so friction is created this friction give rise to what like wear and tear of what your shoes okay so whenever you compare your and uh, very very well if you compare okay if you compare your new shoes with the old shoes okay so what what will happen where you will see more wear and tear definitely you will find your old shoes to be you know it won't be in a good condition why children again i'm telling you because when you walk your shoes okay the sole of your shoes and the surface of the earth or the road or whatever surface are in contact that means friction is created and this friction is going to spoil your shoes okay so what shall i write it spoil it spoil means who spoils children friction spoil okay it spoils the shoes as the friction is created between shoes and the ground 
okay what can be the fourth point what can be the fourth point it reduces the reduces efficiency of the machines okay reduces efficiency of the machines okay okay again the same thing children when the two things are in contact they will what they will get spoiled so when friction when two things in machines two things are there in contact and what will happen so friction will be created and if friction will be created then what will happen it is going to reduce the efficiency of the machines so uh, wherever friction is there then what happens it uh, it you know it spoils the thing so what can i write over here that you know in overcoming the friction lot of energy is wasted is okay so what is the effect of friction like what we have to overcome we have to like the energy get wasted okay so energy is wasted in overcoming the friction okay so lot of energy is wasted in overcoming the friction okay so you know we are reading somewhat disadvantages also like it is mixed pack but in last we'll talk you know only just about the advantages and disadvantages so for now what we are studying children we are studying the effects of the friction so where again energy is wasted in overcoming the friction or it opposes the motion friction produces heat okay and due to this like uh, i just gave you two examples when palms are rubbed against each other the heat is produced and when the stars falls they catch fire due to excess of friction then wear and tear of machines wear and tear of shoes okay and lot of energy also get wasted due to friction so can we reduce friction can we can we reduce the friction so we'll just talk about the things which can reduce friction okay so let clear it off now we'll talk about how can we reduce friction is there any way to reduce friction so we'll talk about that <clears throat> ways to reduce friction okay it is what ways to reduce friction so how can we reduce friction okay first of all you know the shape of the body is very very important children shape of the body shape of the body if the shape of the body is streamline then the <coughs> friction can be reduced that is the reason you know natural uh, like it is naturally the shape of the birds and the fishes are streamline which reduces the friction okay uh, so if we talk about aeroplanes which are made by humans or if we talk about the boats and the ships which are ships are huh? not ships so ships uh, which are made by humans they will be always in streamlined shape okay so the shape which offers least friction okay the shape which offers which offers least friction is streamlined okay 
so when the body of any object okay uh, object why i'm saying see because of the submarines also you take like if the body has to be in water or we have to fly it if the shape of that body is streamlined then what will happen it will give it will be able like it will be easier for that body to overcome the friction which it faces okay and naturally also when we talk about the body of the and naturally also when we talk about the bodies of the birds and the fishes they are always streamlined so the first way how one can reduce friction is what by the shape by making the particular object of streamline this is the shape which of which uh, gives least friction which can cut the air also and which can cut the water also okay so shape of the body is very very important now second is polishing okay see we have discussed children that if the surface is very rough it is going to increase friction and if the surfaces are smooth then it will reduce friction isn't it so what how can we make the surface smooth so if we polish the surface okay just take an example of the very old gate main gate which is very old which is rusted and just touch it you will find it is very uneven isn't it it will be very uneven that means if you talk about the things which are very old unpolished or maybe rusted there is a lot of what will be there friction will be there isn't it suppose if you know you have to uh, move on a road which is what like suppose it is made up of like you know sometimes it is there that when we cross and the small piece of uh, metals are being kept there as a sort of a you know bridge sort of small bridge so you know you will find that you know sometimes you may get stuck over there even when you go to some shops you know they keep it a piece of uh, you know iron and something like that so when you go over that if it is good it's you know polished and all so it becomes easy to walk in that or as you know uh, if it is unpolished rusted it becomes very difficult to move on that isn't it so polished surface always reduces the friction so uh, whenever the so whenever you talk about the bear and excel okay so these are also polished okay you will find it very shiny and polished and that is the reason the uh, the this thing friction can be reduced so uh, polishing always reduces the friction polishing always reduces the friction okay now what can be the third one children lubrication okay now what is the meaning of lubrication children lubrication means what we have studied this thing somewhere lubricator means maybe the oil we can talk about the grease we can talk about isn't it these things acts as a lubricators okay Uh, again take an example of your cycle bicycle which is making noise take the example of fan which is making noise take the example of gate which is making noise take the example of the cupboard drawer which is making noise when you open it take the example of the drawer which is not opening okay and when you apply oil to this when you drop when you drop few drops of oil to this these all things stop making noise and start working properly your door will be closed and open properly without making noise your fan will be repaired automatically without making noise now it will run okay so what is happening children why that noise was coming because when two surfaces are rubbing okay when two surfaces are rubbing okay they will create wear and tear they will rub with each other and going to create noise if lot of wear and tear is there 
so when you when you you know when you oil the things so what happened you know this is this one surface and this is second surface the oil forms a layer between this okay the oil forms a layer between this and do not allow this two surface to come in contact okay that is the reason why lubricators are used always like even the you know and the uh, when the pedal doesn't moves okay especially this bicycle when talk about the pedal doesn't moves okay that particular pedal get hampers somewhere so again that particular part is oiled okay and if that particular part is oiled then again the axle and all this thing starts working properly and why because then the touch the surface which were touching with each other now they are not in contact with each other why they are not rubbing with each other because oil has come in between the two rubbing surfaces okay so lubrication always i do not feel i have to write over here just we can write that oil x as a good lubricant Kita okay, and when the surface is oiled, okay, when the surface, when the surfaces are oiled, I will write here rather the. do not come in contact with each other as oil forms a layer between them okay so whenever the things make noise whenever you feel that the two that the friction is more and it can be oiled so what happens if it is oiled then the oil takes the position between the two surface and the friction get reduced okay so first what we read shape of the body it has to be streamlined streamlined body uh, always cut the water as well as the air very properly and it offers a least friction okay now polishing when we polish the substance the roughness get reduced actually okay when white is uh, reducing because roughness get reduced okay and we all have discussed we know this that when the roughness get reduced then what happen what what will happen the smoothness will increase and smoothness will reduce the friction okay so the best way to reduce the friction is to like you know uh, it depends upon the place it depends upon the uh, you know the Uh, substance or the object where we have to reduce the friction okay so again polishing reduces the roughness and roughness if it is reduced then it will reduce the friction automatically okay the next one is lubrication okay so here what will happen it will come in between and it will offer least resistance okay to the motion now next one fourth one can be what children it can be use of wheels okay use of wheels now why wheels reduces friction because of the shape okay see the shape is what like when we talk about marbles again the shape was what circular and they roll it they roll nicely on the surface so same is the case with the wheel when wheels are attached see you have to carry a heavy suitcase it will be difficult for you but if the same suitcase has got wheel if you attach uh, wheels to that then what will happen 
it will really become easy to just take the trolley, trolley bags are available in the market, so you can just pull it in the way, you know just a handle can be dragged, it can be pulled, why it becomes easy, because the wheels they rotate, they rotate and just the friction also get reduced, ok, because now what is happening here, the smoothness is also there and that shape is also there which is rolling, ok, and thus the friction can be reduced by, uh, by using of, by using the wheels, ok, you know the same thing we can discuss, like if you have opened the pedal of the cycle sometime, ok, you will find small small ball bearings over there, ok, very small small ball bearings silver colored, ok, these are of silver color, now you know why these are there, because that, that ring should slip on this, ok and so that you can uh, move the pedal very fast. So again the use of uh, you know all these the, due to the shape you know it becomes very easier, so use of ball bearings ok, use of wheels also and use of ball bearings ok, it also reduces the friction, when ball bearings are used because it is of circular shape, it is slippery, ok, and what will happen the things, where, where it is, wherever it is used, so that slips on this, ok, and you know, when these ball bearings are always, always reducing friction, and if these ball bearings are lubricated, means ball bearings, just let me rub this, it is added with lubricator, that means what, if ball bearings are oiled properly, ok, then what will happen, first of all they are ball bearings, they are round circular things which are you know become very very slippery and above that if we oil them, then it becomes more slippery, ok and then it reduces friction to a very great extent, ok. Now we will talk about the structure of the ball bearings, ok.